stretch from all saying I tarot. <coughs> Here with the intuitive Fridays. Um, for this coming week, this week is the 8th. And I'm going to run it to the 15th. The 8th to the 15th. Sorry, I'm taking my cards out the bag. I'm using an Anna K deck. And I am going to do things differently this week. So you don't see um, which zodiac signs I'm doing. I'm going to tell you about it. And then we are going to take a deeper look into um, what you guys are dealing with individually. Okay? I just want to try this reading. Anna K is a very spiritual deck for me, okay? Um, I see a lot of past lives with this deck. This is the only deck that I have that I see past lives so strongly with. Okay, it's kind of hard to focus on it now, especially when there's past life energy that's all over this deck. But you know what? That's okay, Linda. Because it'll talk about, it'll give you a little insight into what the spiritual analysis reading is, okay? I don't want to speak too soon, but I'm just going to see how you guys like it. It'll probably be split up into two, three parts. I don't know because I don't know how long it's going to take with individual signs, okay? All right, so the first signs that I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with, I'm going to do it by element just like I do the intuitive Fridays. And this is going to be an intuitive message as well. But we're just going to take a deeper look into the situation. First signs up, we got fire. I'm going to do fire, okay? So this is for Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, for the week of October the 8th through the 15th. Okay. So mainly, <clears throat> I'm not going to rush like I usually rush. I rush through the Intuitive Fridays, okay? Now this week, I'm going to hold off on picking winners, okay? So if you want a timestamp, cool, all right? But if you don't want a timestamp, I understand. But I'll probably just uh, split it up into two videos, okay? Because it would be, probably be like 30 minutes a piece. I don't know. All right? I'm just trying this out. Um, last week, there, it's still open. I have not chose my winners from last week. So you can go in there and you still got time to timestamp for the Intuitive Fridays for last week. And maybe you'll get picked, okay? 30 for 30 um, is cut off. I was only doing that for the weekend, but stay alert because I am doing specials every week up until October 31st. Okay. All right. So this week, what's the special, Bella? 40 for 40. 40 minutes for 40 bucks. That's the special this week. Okay. Now, if you spat past this and you only listen to, well, maybe I'll say it again on Earth Sins or whoever I did. Okay. But anyway, it's 40 for 40, 40 minutes for 40 bucks. Hit me up at allsingitero at gmail.com and let it be known. Bella, I want the 40 for 40, okay? When you get the invoice, get it paid for. You only get 48 hours to keep that invoice in your box, okay? Then it's canceled. If you get canceled, you will not qualify for a special for 30 days, okay? So you'll miss out on all the specials I'm going to do this month, okay? All right, Spirit of the Universe, what are the messages you have for Leo, Aries, Sagittarius for the week of October 8th through the 15th? Show me. Here we go, guys. Here we go. I don't know where I'm going with this reading. I just lay the cards and I, whatever I feel, I just talk about. I don't prepare for this. I don't practice. I just wake up out of my sleep, shuffle, and, and start talking. <laughs> Literally. Here we go, Five of Cups. This is the Anna K deck. <clears throat> the Hangman. When I first opened up this deck, I don't use this often because I see... Um, past lives with this deck a lot I don't know why I do that I'm talking about I was able to read a, a situation where someone got murdered through this deck but it was real hard for me to read the now so you know that was a few years ago but we'll see now the three of rods three of wands Three of Swords. So much emotion in these cards. So much emotion. 
I think that's what makes it hard to not look into the past or look into what made her feel that way. Why is he looking at her like that, you know? Okay. Under the Five of Cups, we got the Seven of Wands. Under the Hangman, oh, excuse me, is the Wheel of Fortune. Timing. This is timing. Okay, sometimes this could represent the vertex. Things that are out of your control, especially with that hangman there. Seven of Pentacles, this is waiting on the Three of Rods, waiting for your ships to come in. <clears throat> Not so much as your ships to come in, goddammit, shit. They got me saying the same shit. It's waiting, okay? Waiting for a relationship to develop, waiting for a response, waiting for the next time you see the person, waiting for them to come and visit you, waiting. Okay, the Three of Wands is not just waiting for your ships to come. Okay, under the Three of Swords, the Eight of Swords. So even though you're waiting, you're staying, you ain't going nowhere. Okay. All right. The overall energy for the week is the Nine of Wands. Perseverance. Okay. So you got a good view of those before I start talking? All right. I need a better tripod. Or, you know what, I need some advice, guys. I need some advice, real quick. I don't mean to cut your reading off. I want to go live, okay? I want to go live and, and, and look at you guys. Well, I ain't going to be able to look at you. You look at me. I'm going to try it out. I usually don't like to go live because I don't want... I want you to focus on what I'm saying, okay? I don't want you to focus on my face and... I don't want you to do that. I want you to focus on what I'm saying. But, I'm going to try it. I want to go live. I want to do something because I have some plans. How do I do that, okay? Do I use my computer? Because I have a computer. So should I use my computer? Because you ain't going to be able to see the cards and my face, okay? Regardless. If I use the computer, if I use the uh, phone, what do I do? Do I use the computer or the phone, okay? Just tell me that in the comment board, okay? I mean, it's going to help you guys, okay? Because I'm going to go live. And I'm going to try to open up, you know, um, some readings, but live, doing it live, Okay? All right, that's all I wanted to say. Okay, so let's look at these cards. Okay. <clears throat> so when I look at these cards, <clears throat> I feel the emotions of these cards. For some, I don't know why I feel the emotions. Got that shit crazy, bro. Okay. Looking at this Five of Cups with the Seven of Wands, it kind of seems to me that this week, because we're talking about this week and what's happening... First of all, let's look at the lesson. The lesson is the Nine of Wands, okay? The Nine of Wands is a card of perseverance. It's going through a lot of shit with your partner, maybe revisiting the same thing that you got over before. You have to revisit this. Why? Well, the Nine of Wands is no different than the Seven of Wands. It kind of seems to me that Spirit is trying to create perseverance in you, okay? Um endurance the ability to hold on to whatever you got going on okay especially some of my karmic partners out here this week you know um it seems like this week you guys will be revisiting a conversation revisiting an event revisiting an event that may have happened in your past okay spirit is going to bring that thing up the five of cups represents loss, regret, sadness, okay? Maybe, you know, let's let's look back into the past, okay? Before you got with the person you wouldn't know. It's taking me a while to talk because I got my coffee cup, guys, you know. I got to take my time because this should have burned my whole tongue out. Um. So anyway, let's talk about maybe in the past you had a relationship and this was the one that got away. This was the one that got away. He didn't fight for it. That's the whole bottom line. That's what it's really saying. Five of Cups with the Seven of Wands. You're revisiting a situation this week with your karmic partner that has everything to do with your past. Maybe it was your baby daddy. Maybe it was your baby mama. Whatever. But you didn't fight for that relationship. You took your L, okay? And you just let him go. You took your L and you just let him go to the other woman. Alright? 
You didn't fight. You didn't try to hold on to him. And especially if we're speaking to Leo, okay? Because Leo doesn't have much fight in them or endurance, okay? Leo's afraid of competition. Very afraid of competition. So, Leo will not fight. If a, if a man is cheating on Leo, Leo will tell you, go ahead. If she can get you, then that's where you need to be. That's what Leo will say, all right? But it doesn't negate the fact that we don't, we have feelings, okay? We have feelings. It is a coward way of acting, okay? And this might not be the lesson that you're going through. Maybe your partner is a fire sign, and they're going through this. You understand? Maybe your partner is going through this. They're revisiting something. So how is this going to look? Okay, so in the past, maybe you're with somebody who's been married before. His ex-wife argued a lot, didn't want to be with him, wasn't happy with the situation. So he just let her go. And he didn't have much endurance. He didn't have fight in him. However, he still aches, he's still depressed, he's still sad over that situation. Here comes your karmic partner into your life. Your karmic partner's responsibility is to take you back to that emotion to heal it. So you can regurgitate it up and it can be healed and it's no longer a factor. Okay, why? Because ultimately, I try to teach you guys when it comes to relationships, spirit is trying to get down to yourself, who you truly are. That's it. That's all relationships is about. Doesn't matter if you want to put a title on it or not. <clears throat> okay, they're just trying to get you to whatever lesson that you had an issue with overcoming. The karmic partner is responsible for triggering that. All right, so how's it going to look now? Oh, well, maybe you get into a fight with your new boyfriend, your new girlfriend. You get into a fight with them and they threaten to leave you. And maybe at first you say, fuck it. Uh, you know what? I'm tired of holding on to you. I can, I can attest to this because King does this shit to me every day, literally. Excuse me. King does it to me every day. Every day King threatens to leave me. Every single day. He's a cancer. He needs a lot of attention. Okay? So every day, it's almost as if he makes it as if <clears throat> he has to remind me that I'm the shit bitch. You know? I'm the shit. <laughs> I don't need your motherfucking ass, okay? Every single day. He doesn't say it like that, but I know that's what he's doing. But the truth of the matter is, deep down inside, that is a, that's fear. He's only doing that because he's afraid to lose me. Because he has lost before. I know that. Okay? I know that. So, maybe this week we get into a little argument. And maybe he tells me he's done. And when he tells me he's done... I hang the fuck up and say, fuck it. He's in jail. So I don't put no money on the phone. I don't do shit. Fuck it. You done, motherfucker. Now he's sitting there and he's sad. And he's regretting what he didn't say out of his mouth. Now, spirit is taking him back to the past, reminding him maybe he have a dream or maybe he just have a memory of what happened when his wife left him. Okay? Now, he's determined to hold on to me. So guess what happens? King no longer threatens me. King doesn't do that anymore because he realized that it caused something to lose you. I didn't feel that before, but I feel that now. It caused something to lose you. Okay? So that's how that looks. Okay? That's how, that's how we get through lessons in this lifetime. We got the hangman and the will of fortune. This talks about timing. This is timing, perspective. This is about, and like I said, this is about the way that you view things. All right? The way that you view things. So you could be waiting on something to happen this week, fire signs, and it doesn't happen this week. And why doesn't it happen this week? Well, the timing is off. And the truth of the matter is your perspective is still fucked up. That's what it means. Okay? Your, your perspective is still a little off. And Spirit says, okay, not this week, maybe next week. Three of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Not this week is it going to happen. Maybe next week. Not this week am I going to bring your boyfriend home or bring your husband home or bring your wife or girlfriend home. <coughs> Maybe next week. Why? Why won't you bring my boyfriend or something home or, or my girlfriend or something home? Well, because we have to make sure that they know your worth. That's why. We got to make sure that they know your worth. 
we're working on the way that they view things, the way that they see things, okay? So this week, we got a lesson that we're going through. If you can be patient, if you can hold on. <coughs> Sorry, guys. You can be patient, you can hold on. Don't worry, I know it's going to hurt them. It's, it's going to be a little painful situation. But they ain't going nowhere, the Eight of Swords. Three of Swords. It's going to hurt them, but they're not going nowhere, Eight of Swords. We're teaching them perseverance. We're teaching them how to hold on. We're making sure that they love you. So before we bring them back into your life, before we give you that opportunity again, we're going to make sure that this person is viewing you as the solid gold that you are. Okay? And not taking your love for granted. We have to make sure of that. Okay? So, the timing's off. No, the person is not coming this week. Okay? Also, don't be disturbed. Don't lose your mind if we trigger you. Because we're going to trigger you. Three of Swords. We're going to trigger you. All right? And remember, the only reason why we're triggering you is because we're trying to teach you how to fight. Because this is, this is heartbreak from the past that needs to be healed. You're with a karmic soulmate. This is the only person that we can do it with. Okay? So it's going to feel like you may lose your karmic soulmate. They may lose you this week. It's going to feel like that. It's going to hurt. Oh, absolutely. Okay? But Spirit says, this is the reason why I didn't put you guys back together, because I'm about to trigger you. I'm about to hit on an area that's very sensitive to you, so that you can let it go once and for all. Okay? You need to let it go once and for all. I honestly feel like, I don't feel like this is a heartbreak that's coming. I don't. I feel like this is a heartbreak that is already sustained. Right? Three of Swords, Eight of Swords, this is ill-dignified. So that would be Three of Swords in reverse. Okay, which would mean I'm going to let out some of that pressure inside of your heart. Okay, it's so dignified with the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> okay, this is a pain. This is something that you've buried. This is a heartbreak, a betrayal, something that you've buried inside of yourself. Because I don't do reversals. It didn't come up reverse, but trust me. I know these fucking cards, Linda. Okay, I can teach on tarot. Literally. Okay. We're going to let out some of that pressure in your heart. We have to. Okay? <clears throat> now let me pull some Sabilas. Just a couple of Sabilas. Because I always like to check my work. And you should too. Don't just talk like you know. Let me tell you something. I had a, a, a problem this week with someone. And this is what I want to tell you. I'm all about truth. I'm all about honesty. Okay? All about truth and honesty. And I get a lot of people that want to read me. And I don't mind. Absolutely. You want to take your shot at me? Absolutely. I'm not going to tell nobody about it. I'm not going to tell nobody, you know, how the reading went or anything like that. Because if you're trying to learn, I'm the teacher. I'm not there to put you down. But I am there to correct you. I will not let you go out here and be telling people the wrong shit. And you won't put my name and attach my name to shit. Okay? Because people want to scream my name. Oh, I, you know, I see Bella Dutch and that's who taught me. Listen, I'm going to make sure that you know what you're talking about. <clears throat> so, this week I had a little problem. All right? Don't agree to read me. Don't beg to read me. Don't ask to read me if you cannot take constructive criticism. Okay? If you can't take it, don't, don't fuck with me. There's a lot of people that you can manipulate on YouTube. It's not, I'm not one of them. Because like I said, <clears throat> before I let you go out there, and if you got something wrong... Not only am I going to say, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. No. I'm going to lay the cards with you, and I'm going to help you to see the perspective. Okay? Some people can't take that. They don't like that. Do not ever just read these cards just the way it looks and leave it at that. No. Fuck no. Check your work. Check your work to make sure you were right. And there's times where a spirit will embarrass you. They're going to embarrass you so what? They've embarrassed me a lot of times. If I'm wrong on a situation, I'll say, hold up, shit, I got this wrong. People that have been with me, okay, and I got thousands of clients, thousands. People that have been with me knows. She will, listen, if she got the fucking shit wrong, she will go back and, and we'll be on the phone for hours trying to figure that shit out. I'm not embarrassed if I'm wrong, okay? <clears throat> but it matters to me to get it absolutely correct. Some people cannot take that. Some people think they've been, oh, I've been doing this for years. I can never be wrong. And get mad as fuck when they're wrong. 
I am the real deal. Please don't call me looking to learn something and then you cannot take when you're wrong because most of us are wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'll say I'm wrong. <coughs> okay. Um, I'm not thin skinned. Okay. Not at all. All right. I'm AD being, honey. I, I, I don't have emotions in that area, so there's nothing you can say that would hurt me. Nothing, literally. You can try it. <laughs> Many have. But there's nothing you can say that will hurt me. Okay? I want to keep it all the way 100 with you. I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with you because I can't afford to be wrong. Okay? I can't afford to be wrong. You take my advice. You look at me as deity. I have to teach you the right way, and I have to be totally honest with you. And there's people that can't take that. Okay? Because they're driven by ego. Like I said, I had a situation this week. Someone driven by ego. And then they try to do something vindictive to me. Don't come for me, Linda. I'm, I'm letting you know right now. Don't come for me. Okay? Don't do it. You can go to PayPal. You can try to sue me. You're not going to win. I'm, I'm telling you what it is. It's not going to happen. Okay? I put out many hours and a lot of time with you guys but to downright say after I have spent over the time you've paid for okay over the time you've paid for I stayed on the phone with you I let you have my time and then to go back to PayPal and say you didn't receive your merchandise shame on you I keep receipts okay shame on you for doing that all right so that was my situation this week Somebody, we converse, <clears throat> very ego-driven, and then you try to spite me. Why? Why would you try to spite me? Because let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you this, Linda. Don't spite me. Don't do nothing wrong to me. Don't do that. Because I'm not going to do it to you. And at the end of the day, you're going to fucking need me again. Okay? Because I'm as raw as it gets. You will need me again. So don't do that. Don't burn your bridges with me. Even though I don't keep grudges. I don't hold grudges. I had a lot of people do shit to me. Especially in this business. I, I won't hold a grudge. Okay? You did me wrong and then you come back and you need some help. I'll still help you. Okay? Because I understand that a lot of us are immature spiritually and we still learn and we still growing. Okay? But be good people in your heart. Especially if you want good to come to you. You will never get ahead spiting deity. For, listen, Linda. <laughs> Listen, Linda, spiting me and think you're going to have good luck? Absolutely the fuck not. I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Be fair to all people. Be fair to these readers out here. Okay? Even if you don't have me as a reader, when somebody spends time with you, they give you hours upon hours of, of information, you're paying for that. Okay? This is an agreement. All right? First of all, this is for entertainment purposes only. So if you don't like the reading, you're just out of 60 bucks. You're just out of 40 bucks. This is with anybody. Because how do you think that person feels? That person can't get their time back. Okay? So all that going to PayPal to get your money back, listen, don't do that wicked shit. Because you're not going to win. And if there's any readers that are dealing with that, any readers out here that watch me and you're dealing with people that may take advantage of your time, you give them time, they don't like something you said, they don't like the reading or whatever, and then they go to PayPal and say that they didn't get their merchandise, listen to me. Let me tell you the most that's going to happen. The most that's going to happen, it's going to take about two months. They're going to freeze that amount of money for two months. What you need to do, go through your email, get all your emails, also go to your phone records. Show the time, okay? Keep your phone records. Submit that to, yeah, submit that to PayPal. You will win. They will freeze their account and take your money back. That's exactly what will happen. Okay? So don't become discouraged. Don't become alarmed. And don't want to shut your business down because you got wicked bitches doing that to you. Because it will happen in this business. It will happen. I'm telling you. Since I've been in this business, I've probably had it about five times, six times. Happened to me. Okay? And not one of them won. Not one. Not one. One. This is why I tell you guys, do not just send money through Yahoo. Don't do it. Especially if you send money, you could never get that money back because it looks like a gift. 
Can't do it. Don't do it. Be sure. If you want a reading and, and your reader takes some time out to spend some time with you, respect that person. Okay? I don't need no selfish, egotistical bitches on my channel. Take your ass somewhere else. And I'm going to keep it 1,000 with you. Take your ass somewhere else. That's what you do? You need to get the fuck on. I'm not surprised that you're going through shit. Get on. Don't do that to people. This shit takes a lot of time. Okay? People going through shit with their family. Their children. They're neglecting their household to make sure you're okay. Okay? And spirit will never let it go down because spirit is going to weigh it. They're going to weigh it. They're going to weigh both your hearts. Okay? And if they see that reader then took out of their time and helped you and kept talking to you and, and went over time and everything, ain't no way in fuck's sake you're going to win. So stop doing that to people. I had to throw that out there. Why did I throw that out there on fire signs? Because it is the fire signs that I have the problems with. Okay? And sometimes I get so mad, I be like, listen, don't come to me, Aries. I have big problems with Aries. Okay? I've had numerous Aries do that to me. And for the first time, I had a Leo do that to me. Which blew my mind. Okay? Because that's not a Leo thing to do. Okay? But Aries is where I have the problems at. Okay? So that's why I left this message on the fire signs. Them is the only people I have problems with. Know if it's an ego driven thing or if it's like a cockiness oh I'm getting my money back after I paid you you can't get your money back and like I said if there's any readers you going through that in your business it's frustrating you don't stop your business call Bella I'll tell you how to do it okay all you got to do is submit the time that you spent on the phone you guys you know a lot of you are doing these um, um, emails and shit like that you can't well I guess it would be proof too as long as you tell them that it's an email reading, then you're cool, you know? But I'm sewed up on that. Make sure you have your terms and conditions, too. That means a lot. Okay? All right, so let's look at this guy. Give me that three of swords. I'm going to look at some of these cards. <clears throat> the heart and death. On that Three of Swords. Remember what I said? I said the Three of Swords is ill-dignified. Okay? So the Three of Swords will be in reverse. This is about letting the pressure out of the heart once and for all. Getting over it. Letting the pressure out of the heart. Doesn't mean you guys are going to break up. Doesn't mean that um, it's over between you. No. No. You're with a karmic soulmate. You're going to be with this person. Okay? You still have endurance with this individual. Usually when you see this card pop up, especially as the overall energy and the Seven of Pentacles... You guys are going to be together for a while, okay? But it's not going to stop spirit from making it a little difficult from time to time, okay? From taking you through um, karmic lessons. It's not going to stop them from doing that. They still have to take you through karmic lessons, okay? So I was right on that, all right? So that's not a breakup. That's letting out the pressure in your heart, whatever you've been holding on to. We have a lot of people that get into relationships and you're still in love with your ex. Never got over your ex. You're only going with emotions. You're going with the flow. You understand? So it's like, because I can't be with this person, because I lost this person, because they married someone else, or they went off with some other partner and I didn't fight, I just have to go keep going on with my life. I got to move on. I got to move to what's available to me. And you never heal. You never heal that heart. Okay? Okay. All right, so let's go to yeah, Hangman. Okay. Hangman. Levecchi Signore. Look, this is the X. And so Spiri. Okay? This is longing for the ex, okay? Longing for the past, which is also this Five of Cups. See, everything I told you will be confirmed in the cards, okay? It will be confirmed. Like I said, whoever's going through this, this is a past situation that you're going through, okay? Maybe you're hoping for a lover's return, right? 
maybe you just let your husband go and you didn't realize you loved him until fucking 10 months later and he didn't marry someone else. You understand what I'm saying? And this is on a hey man. This is about your perspective, the way you see things. So Sperry is to long for. It, it's sort of like the three of wands to me. You know, you got the fucking ships and shit. She's looking out on the horizon, waiting for some shit. The Vecchia Senora represents the older woman or the ex. I always see this as the ex. I see this as the ex-girlfriend longing for the ex, ex-wife, ex-boyfriend, ex, whatever the ex is. Okay, it could be a male, female, it doesn't matter. Same-sex relationships, it doesn't matter. Okay, but it is confirming that this is the lesson that you guys are going through this week. All right? Healing from whatever happened in the past, whatever got away, that thing that got away. Okay, that's what you're healing from. I'm going to go through the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Stupid actions or a delay. La La Greza, this is, um, what is this? This is freedom of spirit. This is, listen, when you put these two cards together, sometimes this represents in the Sabilas, the Vera Sabilas, um, stupid actions, okay? But I also see this as something that trips you up, um, something that causes a delay, a delay, okay? And when you see the butterfly, when I see this butterfly, what the fuck does this represent? I think it's like, um, Like, I think it's like haughtiness or um, ostentationist or, or some shit like that, okay? But I see this as a metamorphosis, okay? This is what has gotten in the way is that there's a metamorphosis that are taking place. This person is growing, all right? This person is growing. They're not yet ready. It's on the Seven of Pentacles. They're not yet ready. Not this week anyway, okay? Because they still have to go through this experience and they still have to heal, they got to let out some of that pressure in their heart. All right? That's the way I see these cards. Okay? It just it just represents to me timing, just like lollygagging. You know? Something that trips you up. I don't see it as stupid actions. I see it as a delay. A delay. Yeah, it's a delay. It's a delay. Delay for this partner coming to you, whoever you're waiting on. Because of the process that's happening, the process that's taking place. You know, you think of the butterfly, you think that it goes through metamorphosis, growth. Starts as a larva. Okay, starts breaking out of the shell, shit like that. Okay, this talks about, it, it's the same thing as uh, your effort into it. You already planted the seed. Okay, you watered the garden already and now you just got to wait for the shit to bloom. You understand? And it's right next to this Wheel of Fortune, which talks about timing. Okay, also, um, those of you that are dealing with jail, the person will be in jail still this week. They're not going to get out this week. Let me look at the Eight of Swords. So... Shame on Cain, look. <laughs> Let me stop. Lock of stanza. This is staying put for a long time. Endurance. Also, like I said, those of you that are dealing with people that are in jail, they're not getting out this week. Prigioni and a relationship with the law. Military. Okay. Lock of stanza. stanza. This is to stay still or to stand still. No movement. Okay. Prison. Prison. This is people that are dealing with prison and the military on the Eight of Swords. So, for the, like I said, if you got a boyfriend, a husband, a girlfriend or whatever that's in jail and you're waiting to hear some news, they're not getting out this week. Not this week. <clears throat> Thank God King can't see this because he'll be fucking going crazy. It's 808, so he'll be calling in a minute. Listen, he'll be going fucking crazy if he's seen this, Linda. Okay? 
but that's what it is. So I hope you guys understood that. Also, if you're not dealing with prison, it just represents that your partner is not going anywhere, okay? You're going through this lesson together. You guys are karmic soulmates. You're going through this lesson, but maybe spirit is not. They have you guys separated. They have you guys separated at this time to teach you guys this lesson individually, okay? This person is triggering those emotions, though, because you're going to feel like you're losing this person. You're going to feel like this person is done with you or you're done with them. Okay, but that's not the case. They're triggering that past situation. <clears throat> okay, like, share, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, hit your notification button, and I'll be back with the next element. Welcome back, Bella. Thank you, guys. Next up, we have my beautiful water signs. I've already shuffled the cards, guys. I don't know what I was thinking. My mind was somewhere else, but I already shuffled the cards, so I'm going to lay them. I shuffled, I cut, so I'm going to go ahead and lay them. This is for the week of October the 8th through the 15th. <clears throat> so let's see what's happening. Three of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords. And the Sun. Under the Three of Swords, we got the King of Wands. So this is for Fire and Water. And this is the reason why I did this. Because we have a lot of fire and water hookups that happen in that vertex. So I know that, you know, um, if you listen to the fire signs and where they're being triggered, it has a lot to do with the water signs. Okay, so it could be a water sign that's triggering this energy as well as it could also be water with air signs. Okay, four of wands, six of wands, and the ace of cups. The overall energy, Ten of Swords, healing, okay, healing all of your troubles, forgiveness, okay, hold on guys, my fucking neck is stinging so bad, hold on, I got a pinch nerve, guys, one second, okay, <clears throat> so I had to throw some cards down on these before I just <clears throat> go any which way, so, all right, we have the Three of Swords with the King of Wands, um, as I stated, this is definitely for any of you uh, water signs that may be coupled with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius in particular. Um, it kind of seems like, to me, this Three of Swords, maybe you guys are going to break up this week or seemingly break up. You're not going to stay broken up, but because you're going through, um, maybe it is because of the way that you talk to the King of Wands. Because this Three of Swords, I kind of see it as harsh words. The reason I say that is because I have the Tower, the Five of Cups, and the Page of Swords. Okay? Losing your partner because of the way you talk to them with that Page of Swords. Because, you know, the Page of Swords could be uncalf, you know, he could say shit out of his mouth that may hurt you. And, you know, don't, don't think about the way that is damaging this individual. All right? And maybe, you know, you're saying different smart shit out of your mouth. Maybe because the truth is you don't trust your partner. All right, you get the nine of pentacles with the four of wands here. You don't trust your partner. All right, it could ease, it, if you are in jail, if your partner is in jail. Okay, I'm just telling you so that you know what's going on. And I have a lot of fire signs dealing with water signs that are in jail Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Listen, listen, Linda. I'm smiling because I know I have like six clients that um, are going to see their partners this week who happens to be water signs and they're Leo and Sagittarius and okay so anyway listen when you see this person this week you guys may have a little fight a little spat okay um, they may talk to you in such a way that it breaks your heart okay fire sign it's gonna break your heart on that tower remember we have the tower the five of cups and a page of swords I have temperance and an emperor. So this is telling me that this is a control thing, okay? Your partner is trying to control you is what's happening, okay? And this could easily be turned around, especially if you're a water sign woman and your boyfriend is a fire sign man and he's in jail. I could be talking to you too, all right? This is a control thing. They feel like they don't have no control over the situation, all right? They're in jail. They're locked away. You're free. You're home by yourself. Spirit is triggering. Listen to what they're doing. 
It's the situation with your partner. In the past, when they went to jail, they lost relationships. Okay? Wives, ex-girlfriends, their partners cheated on them in the past. All right? So, they're very scared. And you could be the one that cheated on them in the past, too. Especially if you've been with them for a long time. They're very afraid of you being home alone. Okay? You have an upper hand. So they feel they got to talk to you harshly in order to keep you in your little, you know, in, in your bag. Okay? They don't have no control over it. That's what's freaking them out this week. So you guys may, you know, get your feelings hurt. Doesn't necessarily mean you guys are going to break up. Maybe you will break up. But you'll come back together. All right. They just need to see that your love is sincere and your love is real. The sun and the ace of cups. They need to see that this is truly a new beginning. And this is not the same repetitive thing that they've been through before. All right. We have the queen of swords and the six of wands. These are the cards that popped up. So I'm speaking to Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. All of you. Okay. Now, this queen of swords, this is your lawyer. This is your lawyer this week. It kind of seems to me, because I beat down this Queen of Swords, I get the Wheel of Fortune, the Empress, and the Strength card. This is your lawyer trying to rush the situation to make sure they set you free with that Empress card there. All right? So they could be speaking to the judge, filing a motion this week for you. All right? Because it's on the Six of Wands. So this is uh, them filing a motion, trying to get things sped up, trying to get you in front of the judge so that you can be released. All right. This is going to end in a victory this week. All right. So this is why I said in the fire sign reading, you may not get out of jail this week. It does not mean that you won't go in front of the judge. You may go in front of the judge this week. Okay. Because you have a lawyer that is in place that is pushing for a motion to get you released. Okay. Looking at this sun card with this ace. Let me beat that down. Not to mention that this could be the actual judge that you go in front of and you go to see. All right. Let me let me let me throw on top of this is what I'm gonna do. Get me on that empress. Clarify. It. So this is release. So it's not speaking about your wife or your girlfriend. And that's what I'm trying to tell you about the cards. And I don't mean to be rude, guys. And I I, I don't mean to act like I know it all, but you have to, you really have to be careful what, what you go at with the cards, okay? Like, you, just because you see the Empress don't mean it's your wife or girlfriend or baby mama or whatever. The Empress represents fertile ground, okay? A, a, a happy situation. It could represent a brand new job, okay? We have the Knight of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords. This is about going in front of the judge, trying to speed things up. Okay, your partner's in there going crazy, whoever this water sign is. Or it could be a fire sign. They're in there going batshit crazy because they want to get out. They want to go home. All right? Now, the strength card here is representing the lawyer. So look at your lawyer. Maybe they're air sign, Libra, Gemini. Okay, the Libra, that's the card of Libra, and Libra is all about justice. All right, so even though we don't have the justice card here, it's definitely representing justice. Okay, the will of fortune. These are things that are out of your control that you need help with from the universe. Clarify the will of fortune. The king of wands. And the five of wands. These are things that are out of your control. Remember, the king of wands likes to control shit. The five of wands represents a delay. Okay, so this is not talking about your fire sign. This is not talking about that situation. This is talking about the fact that you want to be in control when you don't have any control over the situation. These are delays. Things that happen that you have no control over. Okay, competition. It could be that you're also ego-driven. Besides, Spirit is trying to teach you a lesson this week. Okay, they're trying to teach you a lesson this week. So you got to drop the ego because King of Wands is all about ego. Okay. I don't need these. All right. 
the strength card, I definitely feel that that's the lawyer. The lawyer has a way with the empress. The queen of swords has a way of confronting the empress, which is the lawyer. I mean, which is the judge. She's trying to push the situation. All right? We have the six of wands. Six of wands represent a victory. Or putting somebody on a pedestal. Okay? It could represent that you got a really high-profile lawyer on this situation that's highly respected or has a relationship with the judge to get this thing pushed through. Okay, let's go. All right, I can pull these out. I don't need them. Clarify the sun card for me. Queen of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands. The Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. Okay, so this could be communication. This could be communication from an ex ex girlfriend. Virgo Taurus, you got an ex Virgo Taurus. All right, maybe you're in jail over a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Maybe this is the person that put you in jail. This person is going to try to reach out to you this week. The Nine of Wands, you got the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. They're going to try to reach out to you this week. Okay, Ace of Cups. the lovers you got to come to terms and come to a decision now looking at the fire sign i had that hang man there okay and this is about perspective this is a decision that you're going to have to make this week a lot of you water signs okay um rather you're going to go backwards to this queen of pentacles okay this is the earth sign that have you you know has this situation this is the reason why you guys are in this situation now a lot of you that are in jail. So those of you that are cross-watching, because obviously they can't look at this if they're in jail. Um, it kind of represents, if this sounds like your story, okay? Your partner is in jail for an ex-girlfriend or a situation that happened before you or even happened while you were involved. This person is going to reach out to this individual this week. All right? And try to offer love and trying to come back. Ace of Cups. The Eight of Swords, okay? Now, clarify the Eight of Swords. Page of Swords. Ace of Wands. Listen. Even though that person tries to come back, all right? Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, okay? Capricorn. Even though they try to come back, your boyfriend, your water sign is stuck with you. Yeah, you guys are fighting right now. They didn't say some harsh shit to you. They're not talking to you or whatever. Okay? But you're in love. They're in love. They're in love with you. So they won't go that way. And I'm going to show you how. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. That's communication, like I said. So this might be that she sends them a message or a causing in the jail and the king of swords. This is the energy she's going to get met with from your partner. I don't want anything to do with her. I'm done. I'm good. I don't want anything to do with that ex. You're the reason why I'm in here. I'm so fucking pissed at you that you got me in jail and ain't no way in hell I'm coming back to you. Besides, I fell in love with someone else. Who'd you fall in love with? The King of Wands. Okay. Let's see, what else can I beat in here? And also the Knight of Wands, you know, it represents spontaneous things, you know. She's going to try her luck trying to get back to you. That's not going to work. It's the Knight of Wands, so there's no foundation there. Okay? There's no grounded disc. There's nothing strong there. And the overall energy is the Ten of Swords. So this is healing from past betrayals, past hurts. Maybe your partner... This situation could have hurt your relationship. Fire sign and water sign. Whatever was going on with this Queen of Pentacles, it could have hurt your relationship. And this is the reason why your partner is in jail. Okay? You're revisiting... Well, they're revisiting that this week. Okay? To see if they're really over this person. So this person is going to reach out to them. 
Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. All right, but they'll be met with resistance. Clarify the King of Swords. Ten of Wands. Five of Pentacles. They'll be met with resistance. Listen, my burden is heavy, but you fucked up. I can carry this motherfucker on my own. I don't want nothing to do with you. The five of, one, uh, five of Pentacles, remember, the Five of Pentacles is not accepting help. My burden is heavy, absolutely. I'm in jail. But you're the cause of this bullshit. I'm good. I don't want nothing to do with you. Okay? So they're not going to accept this person's offer or forgiveness or whatever they're calling for. Okay? So you don't have to worry about that. Don't worry about is your partner going to go back to the ex or whatever. Okay? Now, real quick. Your partner's not in jail. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Bella. My man is not in jail. He's in another relationship with somebody else. <laughs> It's still like jail, Linda. He ain't with you, so it still feels like jail. All right. Um, my my person of interest is with another partner. They're in a relationship. Okay. Um, what does that mean for me? If you're a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, it means that this is where they want to be. They could be ending a relationship with a fire sign as well and going after an air sign, Libra, Gemini. That could be the case. Okay, but whatever the case may be, this week it seems like they're leaving home. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Wands, they're leaving home. They're separating from their significant other this week. Okay, so just be patient. It's an ending this week. Okay, water signs. If you are the water sign, and like I said, this situation has nothing to do with jail. This is about a third party situation. Third party situation which involves a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, also, it could involve um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, as well as Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right. It's a third party situation within that. All right. Who will you choose? Some of you will go towards uh, Libra, Gemini. Okay. Some of you will go towards the King of Wands and others will go. Well, you're not going to go towards Virgo, Capricorn. Ch um, that, that's ending. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, that's ending. So if water signs are with Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus this week, and there's a third party situation going on, that's over this week. That's ending. Okay. And it's one or the other. It's either going to be a fire sign, Leo, um, Sagittarius, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It's one or the other. It's not going to be earth. Okay. Because it seems like earth may be the one that has caused uh, heartbreak, betrayal, caused some sort of burden, maybe a financial burden, maybe um, some law enforcement, some sort of trouble. Maybe it was infidelity that the earth sign did towards the water sign, and they're moving forward towards new love. Okay? That's what I feel for you guys. Like, share, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, hit your notification button. I am going to upload this first, so it'll be um, Intuitive Fridays for Fire and Water, and then I'll come back. The next video will be Earth and Air, okay? I love you guys, and until next time.